free, free, free Assange, free, free, free Assange. And my next speaker has observed many of these hearings in the Assange case for Porters Without Borders. Please give a warm welcome for Rebecca Vincent. In these past two days, we have heard nothing new from the US government. We have heard them double down on the same arguments that they've been making for 13 years, and in particular since the superseding indictment was issued. Again, we're seeing attempts to make exceptions for Julian Assange, why his human rights don't matter. It is about press freedom. If they make an exception of Julian Assange, the rule will be broken, and no one, no journalist, no publisher, no journalistic source, no media organization can ever be confident that their rights will be respected again. We will see an immediate and distinct chilling effect, in particular on national security reporting. This is absolutely about journalism. We are deeply concerned for Julian Assange's current situation. This is the first time he was granted permission to attend court in three years. So the fact that he wasn't there speaks volumes about his current situation. The fact that he couldn't even attend online tells us how he's feeling. I saw him myself in prison a few weeks ago with a broken rib in pain and coughing a lot from a, a respiratory illness. So we're concerned about his physical health as well as his mental health. So while this case is being decided in these courts and while the strings are being pulled 4,000 miles away in Washington DC, this man is in a prison cell tonight some a few miles from us here. We must remember him, we must not let his situation deteriorate further. So we still hope that at this late stage, there can be some justice delivered from the British system. The world is watching. And if not here, then Strasbourg. And it is imperative that if these courts fail to protect journalism and press freedom by protecting Julian Assange, it is imperative that his right to appeal to the European Court of Human Rights is respected, that the UK abides by its European Convention obligations, and that no move is made to extradite him whilst that process is ongoing. It is essential. If this country is going to, to, be, to stand for the rule of law, they must abide by, this, by, their, by, by their international obligations. And we are here at Downing Street. This is still within the UK's power to do the right thing, but let's not let Washington off the hook. I hope they're watching from across the ocean as well. This is a political case. And if justice isn't possible here in the British courts, our call still remains on the Biden administration to drop these charges, to close this case. A political solution could be found. It is a question of political will. So let's not let them off the hook either. Our call remains to free Assange. And there is only one decision, no extradition.